It was just this moment where you suddenly realize that something that you take for granted, which is the ability to handle your period on an everyday basis without much thought, is actually this insurmountable hurdle for some women and girls. Before knowing Afropads, it was very expensive and very difficult for me to afford buying other center pads. Sometimes I was missing coming to school for days of period. You have girls who will tell you that, you know, before they were skipping school, simply because they were using something like an old cloth or a piece of foam mattress or toilet paper, whatever it is that they were using, it didn't allow them to attend school freely and comfortably. Our product lasts for one year or approximately 12 cycles. And if we can get it down to um, about $2, we find that that's a price point that uh, a Ugandan girl or woman can afford to buy. They are washable. You just wash and hang. It dries, you reuse the next month. And so, since I joined the Pads, I feel like I'm powerful. I'm now looking after myself. I'm able to look after my baby Tracy. And I support my family. This has never been done before in Uganda. Our model is innovative because it's sustainable, it's community-based, and it's empowering. We're able to provide local employment at the moment to 50 women in the manufacturing process. What's surreal in its own way is not when you talk about it in pads, but when you talk about it in terms of girls. So when you say that this year we're trying to reach 100,000 girls and women.